California wouldn't be populated the way it is today without monumental acts of engineering. That has enabled people to live in this landscape. But what we didn't realize when we built these structures, dams, canals, aqueducts. So when we built these levees, just the impact that it's had on our ecosystems. Our ecosystems have been devastated by those actions to enable millions of people to live on this land. We recognize that now, so we're trying to put things right. Hi, my name is April Sawyer. I'm an eco-engineer at Verdantis, and I've been project manager on the Hallwood Side Channel and floodplain restoration project. This is a river rehabilitation project that's intended to restore and enhance ecosystem processes for threatened Chinook and steelhead in the Yuba River of California. These fish need a place to rear, to grow bigger before they go out to the ocean. And in order to do that, we need to make space for them to be able to find food, get to warmer temperatures, get away from predators. In designing this project, we just wanted to do our best to reset the natural processes in the river, specifically lateral connectivity, getting water out onto the floodplain for longer and more frequently. We're enacting to remove unnatural material from the corridor that allows us to, to drop the 100-year flood levels by up to three feet, which is not a small number when you're talking about flood levels and levees. And so not only are we providing 180 acres of enhanced habitat for birds and fish, we're also doing it in a way that's improving the flood control infrastructure in this area. We removed barriers to lateral connectivity that were uh, relics of the California Gold Rush. We removed large volumes of gravel and cobble. We lowered gravel bars so that they inundated more frequently and for longer. We've seen a benefit in post-project monitoring of, at the site. We've seen uh, more salmon compared to non-native species. We've seen less predators. We've seen a good amount of food production of macroinvertebrates. We've seen natural riparian vegetation recruitment as fine sediment has come in and replaced some of the coarser gravel and cobble that's not as good for riparian vegetation to grow in. We had a federal, state, local, public, private partnership. Um, so it's, it was one of those kind of win-win across multiple levels projects that made it really successful. We're trying to restore rivers for the impacts and the influences that they currently have. Humans, population, urban areas. But we're really recognizing that we have to consider the environment as well as people, humans. And we can live together. We can create multi-objective projects that balance traditional water resources, flood control engineering, with ecology, biology, and our ecosystems. Thank you.